Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up binding for a game menu. Uh, to do this we will be using the sample game that comes with coherent UI and we will add an additional level to it and we will then add um, game menu for the main menu and for in-game menu. Uh, we'll be using uh, HTML files that we already have uh, created. They're quite simple, I'll show them to you now. You can see here this uh, simple menu that has play and quit buttons and we'll use them to start the game or quit it. Uh, there's nothing uh, special in the HTML it's just uh, some basic uh, CSS and what's actually important for us is the menu.js file uh, that uh, we have functions that will later trigger uh, events in our game so here we have engine trigger on start game that will cause the game to start and over here we have engine trigger that will uh, quit the game. Okay, so let's get back to the Unreal Engine editor. We have here our game and uh, we will add a new level. To do this, go to File and click New Level. Choose Default and this will be the first scene that we see in the game and from here we will be able to choose from the menu new game okay so now uh, in order for the menu to be added we'll be adding some classes uh, to our game to save time I've already added the classes uh, and we'll have a look at them now please note that the source code for the classes will be available as uh, part of the new version of the game and you can have a look at them if you like. I'll just go over the most important important sections. So the first class that we need to add is the CoUI test FPS menu player control CPP file. Uh, we can see it here and uh, it basically just takes uh, mouse events for mouse up and down then we calculate the mouse uh, pointer position and uh, send it to the view. It's uh, quite basic. Uh, and the next file that we need to add is the CoUI test FPS menu HUD. Uh, here, when the view is uh, ready for bindings, we bind the on start and on quit methods to the uh, their respective uh, JavaScript methods that we saw earlier. So if uh, engine trigger on start game is triggered in the HTML uh, page, the on start game method will be triggered here in um, the game. So we see here. Uh, the implementation for the on start game and for the on quit game. We use uh, local level to load uh, the level that we need. And using uh, console command uh, quit, we quit the game. So by adding this, uh, we actually have a main menu in our starting scene. Please remember that after adding the new classes, you need to set up the appropriate game mode in the editor. So if we go back to the editor and click play, we will see our menu displayed here. So if we click play in the game, it will trigger the on start game uh, event and it will load our game. Okay, so now we need to add um, the in-game menu. Uh, to do this, we'll use the tab key 
so when a tab key is pressed the in-game menu will be displayed uh, to achieve this we will edit uh, two already existing files the core UI test FPS character and the core UI test FPS HUD so if you have a look at the core UI test FPS character file uh, uh, in here we trigger events called toggle in-game menu uh, this will be triggered when we press the tab key in order to achieve this uh, in the configuration folder in the default input.ini file we've already set up an action for uh, this so over here and when the tab key is pressed the toggle in-game menu is triggered so uh, if we go now to the core UI test FPS HUD class we will see that again we have uh, ready for bindings so when the coherent UI view is ready for bindings it will bind these methods that we so early in the JavaScript on go to menu and on quit and they will be executed when uh, you press the button in the game and we see here that we use again local travel to what another level and console command quit so if we go now we will see also the in-game menu so let's go back to the editor click play and we see the static menu click play again and this is our, our level that we know already and uh, if we press the tab key now we see the in-game menu And that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials from Coherent UI.